Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. It is a, a gloomier day today on this wonderful, wonderful Thursday, right? It's Thursday? Yes. Yes, it is. Thursday morning. It's about 10 a.m. It's a little chilly outside. Little, Not too bad, but... A little, little brisk. It's, I think yeah. it feels pretty good. Uh, it says it's 61 degrees outside, actually, is what the car says, so... Just no sunshine, so it doesn't feel warm. Oh. As you can tell, we have a buttload of laundry to do. It is laundry <laughs> day. Hey, hey. Also, some errands to do. We got to run by the bank and do a few things. Oh, some big news and a big step for us, actually. I'm going by to have the paper uh, printed off. I'm going to sign it and get it notarized so they can officially pay off my truck. That'll be a great thing. We'll officially be done with that. Yeah. So once that once that is complete, we can start the you know the process of finding a new one, or at least start peeling our eyes back. Uh, buying a new truck or a new vehicle is not the top of the priority list, but it, it is going to be a priority for sure. Yeah. Um, also, after we leave from doing laundry and going to the bank. We're gonna be looking at some more property. Yay! So, uh, and this is a six acre lot. It's also owner financed. Yes. And at a down payment and a monthly uh, payment that we feel like we could accomplish and wouldn't put too much strain on it. So that might be amazing. So we're gonna go check that out and see if it's something that we're interested in. And even if it doesn't seem to be up our alley, how cool is it going to be to go on another adventure explore in Arkansas, right? That's right. So this is a, this won't be too far from Uncle David. It's going to be like 30 minutes away. Yeah. So, so not too far. Still quick enough to where we could go there and uh, live there and come work on our property. And then once we do move on our property, I can still be able to go uncle, help Uncle David if he needs some help at the on the homestead. Well, I would imagine we would continue to help park it out, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know? Yeah. 20 acres ain't gonna be a quick clear, eight. That, that's absolutely sure. not. That's gonna take some time. <laughs> so my burn's healing up pretty good. It's looking worse, which means it's healing better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's gonna always, uh, it's gonna scab up and, and look real bad before it gets better, so. You can't leave them alone, people. I'm telling you. It's getting See? better. But even though it's a gloomy day, at least it's not foggy, so the views are still breathtaking. Yeah. It's a different beauty every day. I'll spin you guys around so you can see what it what it looks like out. Even though you can see out the windows a little bit, but check this out. You can see it's a little gray. But it's not raining, so we will take that. That's But we'll bring you guys back when we leave the bank or when we get to the laundromat and uh, we'll get things rolling, you know. You know we like to get it going, don't want to waste much time, get right to it. That way we can have a little bit more time exploring the property. I want to spend a little bit of time there today. I, uh, I have a good feeling about this one. So, we'll see you soon. Hey everybody, we made it to the laundromat. We actually already was able to hit the bank get the paper notarized, get it signed, and they already emailed it back to me. <laughs> and we did it so fast. <laughs> the bank's right over there behind me. <laughs> right here across the street is the laundromat. We're gonna give it a shot. This is first time we've used this laundromat. It's in a different town than where we normally go to, but it's a little bit closer to the bank. Uh, it's closer to Walmart, and it's gonna be closer to the property we're getting ready to go look at. So we got the usual suspects, big duffel bags, a little bit more right there. And we got a couple of baskets already inside. Lissa has already started to get the ball rolling on that. So without further ado, let's get to doing laundry. Okay, everybody. So this is the new laundromat that we're using today. Normally we go to the other side of town uh, or in a different town over where I work, closer to the post office. Today we are in this one and this one here is way better. The inside is 
You can tell it's a little bit newer of a laundromat. Almost all the washing machines are newer. All the dryers look to be a little bit newer in better shape. And some good news for us is they got one of these big boy washers and I don't think it's broken. So that's gonna be good news. All these washers right here to seem like they're pretty good. A little bit newer, a little bit newer dryers. Lissa, how do you feel about this laundromat? Nice. A lot nicer than our previous? Yep. And, and look above me. There's heating and air here. That's something you don't see all, every day at a laundromat. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But we're not gonna waste too much time talking right here. We got some big plans today. So let's get to washing these clothes. Two, four, six, eight, ten loads. Hey, ten loads is way better than uh, what we had that, uh, last couple times. How many did we do that last time? What was it, like 15 loads or something? 13. Maybe. 13 loads. So three loads less than it was last time, guys. And because we were going ahead to the laundromat, I asked Uncle David, hey, you got any clothes need to be washed? We're going. So we grabbed a basket of his. We could all knock it out at one time. That's what family's about, guys, doing things together. So this is working out pretty sweet, pretty sweet. All the loads are almost done already. I think this is gonna be an in and out trip, hour, hour, 15 minutes tops. What do you think, baby? About that, an hour, 15 minutes, probably. We got one, two, three, four loads almost done. We're gonna get them in the dryer. Nice, all three of these big boys are ready to go. We're almost done. I could never let you go. I'm not so sure you believe me. But if I mean to show you, I will never let you go. No, because you don't see the logic of things. It's quite a lonely world that we're living in. Oh, baby, you are something special, I'm sure. When you're next to me So this side is a little bit smaller, huh? These dryers? Yeah. Might not want to pack as much in these. Here we go. Let's put it on that hot, hot. And I'll grab the rest of them. Teamwork, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. One more, one more. Back this time. I want to ride in the cart.
I'm a little out of breath. I just ran back here to the beginning so that I could uh, show you guys. We just arrived on site to where the property is, where we're looking at this property. Two different properties. They're pretty much side by side. It's actually across the street from each other. I'm gonna spin you guys around. Look at this view. Check this out. Woo wee. One side of the property over here, six acres. There's another six acres on the other side of the road over there. Um, I called the landowner himself, who is a really nice guy, and he was like, yeah, take this trail all the way to the back of it. It goes all the way to the back corner, and you can see the how the woods butts up against it. There'll be a fence. So I was like, all right, cool. So we started walking, and we started immediately noticing it's awesome. This is an awesome little plot, awesome little setup. Six acres is nice. The price is pretty nice also. It's uh, it's in our in our budget for sure. Low down payment, low monthly payment. Look at this little trail over here. It goes right down into there. Lissa is already up the trail, guys. We uh we got we once again we jumped the gun and started walking. And I was like, hold on, hold on. I forgot the GoPro. So I ran back to the car real quick. Grab the camera. I needed to bring you guys along for this trip. This is a trip worth taking. So the hillside over here goes up in a slant a little bit. Oop. Oh, look at all the different flowers and trees that are coming into bloom. So we do got a little wet spot right here. I mean, notice, so we'll have to have to remember that. Uh-oh, look what, I just found something. What is this? Oh, what is that down there? Hey, girl. Hi. What do you think of this so far? Did you find the fence? Yeah, it's right there. The fence is right here? Okay, so this, we made it to the back of the property. Made it to the back of the property, so this is, this is the back. That's cool that it's already fenced. So we already got an idea of where stuff is. Awesome. Awesome. What do you think of this little area? Pretty nice. Pretty nice. It looks a little bit wet. Okay, here we go. So it looks like We've got a little creek that does run through here maybe when it rains. See down into the ravine right there, guys? It goes down. And he said all four corners are marked. This is exciting. It's, it's exciting, huh? Yeah. See the creek that goes this way? Yep. Right here. You want to walk the fence line or do you want to walk down through there? Let's walk the fence line. I mean, it's it's wooded and thick out here, but it's not like all it's not like all underbrush, you know. This is so awesome! Ooh, careful, careful! She'll be coming around a mountain when she comes. <laughs> Stick it right here by the fence line, guys, so we know where we are. I don't know. Here we go. You can see the fence line a little better. Oh, that's a pretty cool little tree. He said that uh, I think there is an opening somewhere on these six acres. Um, I think the last owner that had it had himself a little food plot out here is what the guy said. Starting to get a little thicker, huh? Yeah. This is looking for like some even ground, you know? Yeah, it's starting to really flatten out actually right here. I think that creek is over that way. Just plow through it. There we go, my love. Here you are. Thank you. Okay. Okay.
Yep, here's where uh, the creek runs. When it looks like when the water, you know, floods off the mountain, comes down right here. It looks like it. Oh, look, there's still some water flowing, baby. Look, guys, still got a little bit of flowing water. And the surrounding area doesn't look like right. And this surrounding area, area, yeah, the ground itself is. It's not, it's not very saturated, it's not very wet. Wanna, do you wanna go out that way? That's, does the creek go around like that? Um, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. I know there's a bunch of briars right there. Let me make the jump. Ooh. You can come down here, baby. It's not so, not such a jump. Right here, around the tree. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Okay, so there it does branch off actually on a couple of more spots right here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna spin you guys around, and actually, you can see it's a little. I think I found the clearing. Yeah, it's like a little island. Oh, baby, look at these lone flowers. It's just a little. They're just all by their lonesome out here. Yep, here's a here's a clearing right up here. Oh, look at this clearing! Michael, look. The creek goes like all the back side. Oh wow! So the creek comes comes down all down the back, and I bet it goes right through the back of it. Okay, look at this. Okay. Nice little opening actually right here. Nice little opening. So maybe this was the opening he was talking about where the food plot was. Yeah. And to give you guys some reference, uh, here, there's the road out there off the front of the property and it goes up to the corner up there. And we walked all around to the back and then we came back and up through. That way more. Yeah, it does still definitely go more this way. You wanna to continue to walk through here? Do you wanna go out to the to the road and walk down to the corner? So the creek actually separates the area too, the flat area. Mm. That's actually the, the other lot that's for sale right across the street over here. Oh, we almost made it to the end, baby. Okay. See, there, there's the culvert down here. And that's why the water is flowing in this general direction. Oh, never mind. We're only like halfway. Yeah. The stick is way down there. Oh, oh man. Oh, I didn't think about that. I, I for sure didn't wear the right shoes out here. I'm in my, I bought some brand new shoes. Got a deal too. $35 for a pair of new shoes. Check them out. Nice and muddy already. Nice and muddy. That's why I buy black shoes though, huh baby? Wow, so look, this is like halfway. That's like the halfway point. You see the flag way down here? We're gonna walk you down here, guys, to where the flag is. This is where some of the creek runs out of. Yep, the creek runs out right here. More flat land? More flat land. More flat land. Oh, wow, look at these deer tracks. Dang. 
Now those are some deer. Look, I bet they came right here and got some water coming out of here. Yeah. Dang. Flowing? Here, listen. Ooh, we can hear it. Flat land back in there, you were saying? Oh, which way do we go, George? Which way do we go? Lissa, the fearless leader. <laughs> or at least we thought there was some flat land over here. I guess this ain't bad. It's pretty flat. There's the creek right there. Yeah, I mean, it ain't really much as anything, but I'm sure when it floods, it gets a lot heavier. A walk bridge. <laughs> Ooh. A rotten walk bridge. Oh, balance, balance. Oh! Ah! Not, not the greatest balance. So, with so much water in the front of the property, kind of got me, got me thinking I don't know about this one. Like yep. Now that does look like a nice high flat area up there. And the end of the property. Right there, right there. Where is it at? See the flag? It's a little further up. Um, I just don't see it yet. Oh, I see it. Okay, yeah, because here's the culvert. So the property line pretty much splits on down this way. So let's uh, walk to the back mm -hmm. and then we'll go check out the one across the street. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> What's she gonna do? <laughs> Find an easier route. Find an easier route, guys. Ooh, this is a nice little plot though, huh? Yeah, see, I mean, it's, it doesn't look like when it rains and the creeks are raining, like all this floods. Yeah, it definitely does not look like it floods out at all. <laughs> What's this over here? I see a, I see a hammock. What in the world? What in the world? I think we found the last person's property or the last person that lived here maybe. <laughs> An old purse. So, it looks like they put their hammock up right over the creek, which is pretty cool. Now, what I don't know is is this our potential property so here's the here's a bigger creek right here now look. see the tree line oh i see it look at that oh there's a sign right there posted no trespassing so this is definitely someone else's property over here you can see, I don't know if you can see the sign. There's a no trespassing sign right over there. So somebody came out. Looks like they started to build a little fort or something right there out of a little logs. Interesting. Got a creek running to the side. Let's see if we can find the, uh, the corner post. 
That's pretty cool about the creek that runs on the side of it. I like that. <laughs> But there's always so much uh, water here in this part of Arkansas. I love it. I know everybody is nervous about us being around water and things like that because of the drifter down moment. However, you know, isolated incidences, isolated incidences happen. And that's just life. Wow, it's really opening up now. Look how far back. Man. Yeah, this is a really nice area. Whole nice flat area right here. Like creek in the yep, got a creek behind us. And this ain't even the back of the property. Let's say the back of it still goes on more, you know? Can you? Oh, okay, I do see it. Right, right. Well, he said all four corners were marked. And I don't see a... Yep, there's... Oh, and there's the marker. There's the marker. It actually looks like the, mar uh, the fence... It looks like the fence is on our side of the property. Huh? Yep. See the marker, guys? Right there? Yeah, because I see the stake in the ground. I see the stake in the ground. So this fence is actually on our side of the property. But that's okay. So, Lissa, if the calculations are correct, running straight down right there, that little, um, that little hammock mm -hmm. and everything, it's probably on this property. Oh, so I thought. But this is really nice. It is. I really like this. I like it too. Let's go check out the one across the street. Lissa's already ahead of me. She's an eager beaver. Eager beaver. Yeah, it's already partly cleared off. They're actually, um, I think they're asking a couple of more thousand dollars more because this is already cleared off. But check it out, the power lines come right through this side and right up the mountain. So we do got a mountain view. Yeah, this mountain. <laughs> All right. Well, let's check out this lot right here, my queen. He said the creek here runs through the back of the property. Over here? Yeah, this one runs through the back. Oh, yeah, no, there was a creek in both. Okay. Do you want to start on this end or this end? Mm -hmm. We'll start on this side. There's a car down there. Oh yeah, cars on that side, so we'll start down here, finish down there. Yep, there there are some neighbors, but they're <laughs> far and few in between. So where does this one start? It starts down here. I'll show you. It starts down here on the other side of this clearing where they've been doing all the work. You see the flag down there? Yeah. That's where it starts. So it goes back that way. And there is supposed to be a big clearing in the back back here also. Let's go check it out. So we did find a spot like halfway to kind of come through a little bit. And it's not really a trail, but we found a spot, right? <laughs> yeah. We're going to bushwhack our way through. And these aren't real small plots, guys. These, like I said, six acres. Six acres is a lot. In Florida, I um, my grandparents had a five acre plot and it was pretty big. This one is definitely a lot thicker. It would require a lot more uh, clearing out, but he said that there was a really big open space back here somewhere. Where, 
is the question. So it looks like, uh, from what I've noticed in Arkansas, see the ground right here, baby? It looks like that this is also a potential uh, track for water. Yeah. See how the leaves are pushed out of the way a little bit? Yeah. And you can tell on the ground right here where it looks like a trail. Yeah. That is a trail. It's a trail of water. But it is definitely a lot, a lot flatter on this side, right? So next time we go look at property, I'm gonna suggest bringing a machete. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of cleared in here. Maybe at one time this was cleared. Maybe everything just grew back, you know? Right. <clears throat> yeah, cause this ain't bad. Man, look at that. Now that is cool, guys. That is cool. Battery's dying. We left the battery in the car, guys. We're gonna have to catch you again because I don't think we're gonna make it much longer on this battery. And we're about seven acres from the car. Time's running out. We gotta go back and get the kids here soon. But it was a fun adventure. I'm glad you guys got to come along. Oh yeah. We'll catch you again soon. See you later. Hey, good evening everybody. Welcome back. Tonight is a special night. We have a couple of more packages and the kids are gonna find out what we got. Are Let you guys go. excited? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh! It's, it's sorry. sorry. It's sorry. Oh, that's a fun nice. game. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, that we could probably play it tonight. Hold on, we got, we got a note. What's the note say? It was fun. We played before. It was fun. Yeah. Let's, let's, read, let's read the note. All right. Wait, I want to read the note. Or all of those rainy, rainy days in Arkansas from Mason. <gasps> Mason. Mason and Stacy. <laughs> That's very cool. I have, a, I, have a, I have a friend at school named Mason. That's cool. For all those rainy days in Arkansas from Mason and Stacy. Thank you so much, Mason. Hey, Thank you. Play. That's going to be fun. Yep. Sweet. We're, We're going to play it tonight. All right. All right. And we got a pretty big package, Talon, if you want to grab it. I guess we do need it. Oh, now. I'm sure I can't wait to play it. Yeah, I can't wait to play it. Is it heavy? Yeah, and heavy. Oh, yeah. I wonder what it is. Five boxes. Two more boxes. Two more boxes. Two more boxes. Here's a note. It says, a gift for you. A little something from the fur... Babies, I think. For the fur babies? Yeah, I figured it will keep them off the ground and protection from the sun from Deerisa. Oh, I, think, well. I don't know what it is. What I is it? Not... Hold on. Shh. A little something for the fur babies. I figure it will keep them off the ground and protection from the sun from oh. Teresa Tarswell. Wow. Oh. Alright, sit back. Sit. The dog house. Oh, let's see. Okay. Oh, here's a picture of it. It's a it's a pet cot with a canopy. Oh, Cute. awesome. That's cool. Okay, look. Okay, so here's the final picture of it, guys. See it? And it says for. This one's for. Uh, that is really cool. That is awesome. Hey, yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Yes, the dogs thank you. are gonna love it. We love it. Thank you so much. Odin and Halo are really. There's gonna love two it. of them. Yeah, so one no. for Odin, yeah, one for Halo. Yeah. That's cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. So what do we say? Thank, thank you. you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and, and hit that thumbs up. And the bell. And the bell.
Bye. Bye. Bye.